Elvis Presley, 1935-1977 through 1977. Elvis Presley, or simply Elvis, was an American singer and actor called the King of Rock and Roll. With his electrifying performances, signature style, and undeniable charm, Elvis took the world by storm, leaving a lasting impact on the music industry and pop culture. From humble beginnings in a small town in Mississippi, to becoming a worldwide phenomenon and an undisputed legend, Elvis Presley's story is one of the most fascinating and captivating in music history. Important Years in the Life of Elvis Presley 1935 Born on January 8th in Tupelo, Mississippi, USA. 1945 Took part in a singing competition. 1946 Got his first guitar. 1948, his family moved to Memphis, Tennessee. 1951, beginning of the use of the term rock and roll. 1953, graduated from Humes High School. He recorded the songs My Happiness and That's When Your Heartaches Begin at Sun Records. 1954, debut at Sun Records. 1955, signed his first contract with RCA Records, worth $40,000. 1956, made his national debut. RCA Victor released his first album, Elvis Presley, which brought him his first gold album. The film with his participation, Love Me Tender, was released. 1957, started filming his second movie, Loving You. 1958, drafted into the US Army. 1960, retired from the army, returned to the entertainment industry, made a guest appearance on the Frank Sinatra Timex show for the unbelievable for that time fee of $125,000. 1965, the Beatles visited him in Bel Air, California. The Five did a jam session, performance of improvised jazz music. 1967, married to Priscilla. RCA Records released his second album in the gospel genre. How Great Thou Art, with which he won his first Grammy Award. 1968, Lisa Marie Presley was born. 1969, recorded one of his best songs. 1970, participating in six record attendance shows presented at the show Astrodome in Houston, Texas, attended by 207,494 people. 1971, named one of the nation's most outstanding young men by the U.S. Junior Chamber of Commerce. 1973, the Aloha from Hawaii concert, the world's first live concert broadcast by satellite. Colonel Parker sold the full rights to his recordings to RCA. 1974, a new attendance record for a concert at the Houston Astrodome. For the first time since 1961, he performed on stage in Memphis. For his performance of How Great Thou Art, live, he received the Grammy Award. 1977, died August 16th of a heart attack at Graceland, Memphis. Elvis Aaron Presley was born into a poor provincial family. From an early age, he was interested in music and loved to sing. And his first appearance in front of an audience was at the age of 10. Mounted on a stool, he performed a ballad at a local competition where he won fifth place. When he was 13, his family moved to Memphis. There, he taught himself to play the guitar while listening to the radio. When he turned 18, he paid to record a song for his mother at the Sun Records studio. It was then that producer Sam Phillips noticed his talent and the following year invited him to record something else, this time for the general public. Elvis recorded a cover of the song, That's All Right Mama which instantly became such a hit that the company simply could not produce enough records of the single. However, Elvis was still not making money from his music and had to work as a truck driver. In the following years, however, he gradually became a superstar. His style in singing refined and formed what we now call rock and roll. His concerts were full of people. His provocative dances drove the youth crazy and his hit single, Heartbreak Hotel, and his 1956 debut album were played everywhere. His fame became even greater when in the same year, Elvis starred in the movie Love Me Tender, which in combination with the song became a real hit. 
His down-to-earth style and sleek hairdo became his trademark and made him a fashion icon of immense fame. The combination of foods he loved was also unconventional. Two slices of bread spread with peanut butter, a banana and bacon bits in between, and the whole thing fried in butter. That was Elvis's favorite sandwich. The sandwich was also quite popular, and over the years found a place on the menu of restaurants all over the world. Elvis also had other favorites, such as bacon-wrapped meatballs. In general, the king adored recipes involving peanut butter, meats and fried foods, and his culinary desires were catered to by his personal chef. His singles and albums sold like hotcakes and broke record after record. Just when he was at his peak and teenage girls were swooning at the sight of him, Elvis was drafted into the army. He considered military service his duty and served two years in the US Army, spending 1.5 years in Germany. There he trained in karate and subsequently even received a black belt. After his return, his aggressive rock and roll was no longer in vogue, and he began to release lighter songs and appear in films, 31 in total. In the following years, Elvis also released many music albums, with his Christmas album becoming particularly popular. And although his fame was no longer the same as in the late 1950s, in 1969, he played 636 sold-out concerts in Las Vegas. For this purpose, the King sometimes appeared on stage twice a night. Elvis Presley's last concert was on June 26, 1977, almost two months before the world said goodbye to him forever. His lifestyle and quite a few unhealthy habits took their toll, and he was gone at only 42 years old. But he left behind a huge legacy for the next generations of musicians, as well as for thousands of people who wanted to be like him. Competitions for his imitators are organized every year, and so the memory of him and his talent is kept alive to this day. Elvis Presley's Thoughts Without a song, the day would never end. Without a song, a man ain't got a friend. Without a song, the road would never bend. When things go wrong, don't go with them. Do something worth remembering. Truth is like the sun. You can shut it out for a time, but it ain't going away. My philosophy of life is simple. I need someone to love, something to wait, and do something. <laughs>